Now, do you think you'd be able to take time off from your job if you are struggling with the menopause? Well, one retailer's put together a guide for its managers to better help colleagues access support systems in the workplace, including working less hours, fewer hours, and providing more breaks. Joining us now is the Chair of Wellbeing of Women, that's Dame Leslie Reagan, and the Co-op's Business Optimization Lead, and that's Carrie-Anne Lackey. Hello to you both. Thank you for joining us on the programme. Dame Leslie, to you first of all. Um, the Menopause Workplace Pledge, who's that going to help? Well, I think it's going to help menopausal women enormously. Um, and it's a very simple pledge, which we're delighted by the response to. We deliberately made it easy for companies to come and join us on this campaign. And all we were asking them to do is to recognise that the menopause can be an issue in the, in the workplace and that women need our support or their support as employers of women, talking openly and positively and respectfully about it and actively supporting and informing their employees who are affected by the menopause. And we've been amazed by the response. Over 600 companies have signed up. Um, and of course, there's a, there's a wonderful sort of um, snowball effect when 600 companies have find, uh, signed up, some very large ones too. Everyone's thinking, oh, I want to be part of this too. So many of the women that I've spoken to who've supported our charity and this pledge, this workforce pledge, have told me that it's not even the facilities that they're offered, you know, the better ventilation or more breaks or whatever, or the flexible working. It's the fact that they can actually talk to their colleagues and their workplace managers about the problem and not feel embarrassed. So it's a real taboo buster. Okay, let's bring in Carrie Ann Lackey, should we? A business optimization lead for the co-op. Um, hi, Carrie Ann, you're joining us from Apley Bridge, I think, uh, this morning, which is where I used to live many moons ago. Wow. Tell me about your. <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> it's just outside Wigan for people who don't know. Junction 27 of the M6. Um, <laughs> tell me about the menopause and the challenges that some of your team face, and what you do about it. Yeah, um, Kay, if I can just kind of get you to think about a woman who's at a prime of her life, and then suddenly kind of doesn't understand what weight she's going to be when she wakes up, suddenly becomes allergic to everything, suddenly loses herself, feels depressed, is, feels detached from the world, but she doesn't understand why. I think um, a lot of women out there don't understand the peripetmenopausal. It's such a taboo even now that while in the co-op when I started work, Kay, um, I recognise this through my journey. Now, I've been going on this journey for over six years and I'm still trialling treatments right now. Um, but I wanted, when I started at Co-op, I was warmly embraced by the Women's Network Aspire and the leadership to start a coffee morning where I thought, you know what, let's talk about this. Let's not make it a taboo because at the end of the day, Kay, it's just normal. Um, it can be embarrassing, though, can't it? I know from personal experience. Um, what's what's your experience, carry on? My experience is, if anybody knows me, and you know I'm from Wigan, K, um, I'm just very open about it. But I've got to be honest, my peers are shy about it. They're not sure if they are feeling menopausal. They're anxious, they're depressed, they're suddenly tearful. And I'll say, you know, go to the doctors. One of the challenges is that GPs aren't trained so women are going to the GPs and saying, look, I've got these symptoms. I say, write these symptoms down, say how you're feeling. And they're getting turned away. Some, some of my friends are getting turned away with um, uh, antidepressants and feeling worse than they did beforehand. Um, and I just realised that the system itself from the General Medical Council, uh, menopause is not on the curriculum, not for long. So we're up against it before we even come in work, Kay, to be honest. Yeah. Dame Leslie, um, what's your advice to men uh, of all ages um, who uh, hear the word menopause and they think, oh, goodness, it's, oh, it's a bit like talking about periods. So I, I, can't, I can't talk about that. Well, you make a really good point, Kay. And one of the things I'm really trying to get Wellbeing of Women, the charity, to champion is talking about all the inevitabilities in a woman's life course, such as having menstrual periods. I mean, most women that you and I know had 12 periods a year uh, for nearly 40 years of their life. And there's an inevitability about women becoming menopausal. And my challenge to men, or not even a challenge, my request to them, is that 
There's somebody in your life who's experiencing menopausal problems now, or perhaps she's benefiting from the fact that she's been able to talk to you or talk to somebody else about it. Um, and I think that we must really encourage men um, uh, to talk about it because it is just so valuable for people to be able to get rid of the taboo and the stigma and just talk about what's normal in life. It's an inevitability of womanhood. Uh, so I, I think that everybody benefits from this and I very much want to include the men in the thank you, thank you shout out because we need everybody to be talking about it to make everyone's yeah. life Okay. Um, Carrie Ann, um, I used to live in Runshaw Avenue. That's where I was in Appling Bridge. Is it still a fabulous place to live? It absolutely is gorgeous, Kay, to be honest. Yeah, and you can still, I can't remember, what was that folly that was on the hill where, they, where the bonfires used to be? You can see straight um, across. Fairy Glen. I live near Fairy Glen, Kay. There you go. Lovely. I'm glad um, you're enjoying it as much as I used to when I lived there. Ladies, great to talk to both of you. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Thank Thanks, you. Kay. Thanks a lot. Do not be embarrassed about the no. menopause. Do not be embarrassed. Talk to your colleagues about it. Thank you, ladies. Appreciate it. Thank you.